Hey everybody, this is Justin with SoftwareMedia.com. Today we're going to cover several common functions in Adobe Illustrator CS5. We'll be going over guides, rotate, scale, text, importing a Photoshop image, uh, the effect gallery, and the all new Shape Builder tool. Uh, with these tools you'll be able to create any number of designs and projects, but for our purposes today, we're going to create a basic uh, t-shirt design with a customized Charlie Sheen theme. So it should be pretty fun doing this. As we go through the tutorial, I'll show you some useful keyboard commands, shortcuts, uh, to help expedite the creation process. To begin, let's go ahead and create a new file. We're going to make it a print file. And we are going to use the inches. We're going to make it a simple 10 by 10 inch size. If you push Control R, it'll bring up the rulers. And from here, we'll be able to create our guides. So go ahead and open up our layers. Let's double click that. We're going to call this our guides layer. I'll be using a lot of layers today. Um, I like to keep all my images separate, my designs and shapes separate, just to make it easy to view, to edit, and make any necessary changes. So what we're going to do is create our guides. First thing we're going to do is click up here at the ruler, click and drag, and actually if you hold shift, it'll help it snap into place. So we can do one at the half inch, then one inch, and we do three, three and a half, all the way down here at eight, and then nine. Then from this left side, we'll click and drag, do one at the two inch, do one at eight inches. And with those guides, we'll be able to create all of our shapes and designs for a t-shirt, make a little, um, make the alignment a little bit easier, and all that. Let's go and create a new layer now. Double click, and we will name that the shirt layer. Let's go ahead over to our rectangle tool. Change the fill to black. As you can see, it shows that intersect and guide. That just makes making shapes snap into place and a lot easier. We'll do the same for one sleeve. Next thing we're going to do is make the neck for our shirt. So we're going to push Control Alt L to create a new layer. We're going to call this the neck. And for our neck, we're going to use the ellipsis tool. We're going to have it lined up perfectly. So you can see the guides helps with that. We're going to have it at 5 inches. We're going to hold Alt and then click. This is going to let us specify the size that we want. Mine's already defaulted at 2.5, and that's exactly what we want. 2.5 by 2.5. Click OK. And we've got our circle right here. Now basically what we want to do is just use this bottom little part of the circle. So to do that, what we're going to do is select the torso. Holding shift, we're going to select the circle. So what we're going to do is use a brand new tool in the Illustrator CS5 called the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to click that. And basically it's kind of like a cookie cutter. Um, it helps you create new shapes out of existing shapes, things that are overlapped or whatnot. You can add to them, subtract them. Um, it's pretty nice. So all we need to do is hold Alt. As you can see, the little minus shows up next to the arrow. And we're going to left click. And basically, all that did was delete. It created a new shape and then it deleted that shape. And we'll hold Alt again. Do the same thing. As you can see, we got rid of our circle, but it also ate into the shirt itself. And that's exactly what we want. So we've got a nice neck look. Next thing we need to do is go to our direct selection. I'm going to grab this sleeve over here, and we're going to do the Rotate tool. What's neat about the Rotate tool is it'll rotate any image or shape around the axis that you set. And for us, we're going to set the axis up here at the top right. Holding Alt, we're going to click. We're going to put the angle at 25 degrees. If you have Preview turned on, you'll see how it made that angle drop down 25 degrees. That's perfect. Push B for direct for selection tool. And R for rotate. Do the same thing. Hold Alt and click. 
And this time we're going to do a negative 25 degree angle. Let's get rid of those guides. Now as you can see we've got a nice t-shirt layout. Next thing we're going to do is import our Charlie Sheen image. So let's create a new layer. We'll call it Charlie. Now off my screen, unfortunately you can't see it, but I have uh, Photoshop up with an image of Charlie Sheen already. And all I'm going to do is click and drag and bring it onto my Illustrator file. And what we'll do is we will line it up so it's right in the middle and it's going to be on this second line right there. Now as you can see the Charlie Sheen image is a little bit too big for the shirt itself. And that's no problem. We're going to scale it down. You can push S or click over here for the scale tool. And then using our good old Alt function, we're going to click here at this top edge. And then we're going to do what they call progressive scaling. That means what we're going to do is scale little by little. So we're only going to do 90%, 10% at a time. Um, with Illustrator, you can do a simple command called Control D, and that will duplicate the last function which was scaled down. So doing that twice we get to the size we want. That looks beautiful. The next thing we're going to do is go to our effects, the effect gallery, and here it's kind of a Photoshop overlay where we can kind of customize images to have different effects. Uh, there's different kinds from all sorts of different folders. To make our simple we're going to do a note paper. It's kind of an embossed effect. The reason why I'm doing this is with uh, t-shirt design, silk screen. Having the image as it was would be a lot of colors. It would be very expensive if possible to do at all. So we're going to simplify it, make it just gray and white. The basic outline. Don't have to have as many details, but you can still tell who it is. And let's just click off the screen. Get rid of those guys again, as you can see. A nice image there. The last thing we're going to do is add some text. So let's do Control Alt L, create a new image or a new layer, name it text. And then we're going to select the guides, make sure our selection tool is selected. So V is the shortcut. We are going to click on that guide. So it turns blue, it's been highlighted. What this will do is allow us to use our text tool, lined up right at five. As you can see, it recognizes that guide. And we know to click there, and it's going to be right on the guideline. We want to center. Let's make the text, we'll make it red. And then type in our text. And what we want to do is to our direct selection tool to unselect the text tool so if we use any other shortcuts they don't get confused and then what we will do is change the font we'll call it we'll use Comic Sans we'll change it to 60 point and there we have it let's deselect that get rid of our guides there you go simple as that we've created a t-shirt design with a Charlie Sheen background image and of course his famous winning kind of slogan catchphrase that he's got going on right now. Uh, from here all you have to do is save the image and you are good to go. That will conclude our tutorial for today. Uh, don't forget to stop by softwaremedia.com to pick up your own copy of CS5 or any other software needs that you may have. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.